Hi, uh, hello there and uh, welcome back to my new video. So in this video, I am going to show you how to change uh, system bar colors. And when I say uh, system bar, I'm actually referring to uh, two different components. The first one is a uh, status bar and the second one is navigation bar. And uh, before I uh, start with the code, let me show you how our application uh, will look like when we change its uh, system bar colors. So now you can see that we're uh, using a light theme in our uh, Android emulator and the colors of those uh, system bars are the same. Now let's uh, switch to our dark theme so you can see that now those uh, system bar colors uh, will change. And there you go. So the colors of those uh, two system bars are now black. And that's exactly what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. Now there are two different approaches uh, when we are talking about uh, changing those uh, system bar colors. And the first one is the most uh, popular one which actually involves uh, changing or modifying our themes xml so let's just open up those uh, two uh, themes xml so we have uh, two different uh, versions the first one is for our uh, light theme and the second one is for our night theme or night uh, mode so here you can see that uh, both of those files uh, contain this uh, status bar color okay so uh, by default uh, our uh, status bar will have this uh, purple color in both of those themes. So as you can see now we are using a light theme and our status bar is uh, colored in this purple while uh, our navigation is uh, colored in black. Now let's uh, switch this uh, theme to a dark theme and now you can see that uh, those uh, colors basically stay the same and even though we are using a dark theme our uh, status bar color hasn't changed. So now uh, what we need to do here in this case we need to open up this uh, night version of our themes XML and uh, here we need to change this uh, color to color black. And now let's run this application once again. So now you will see that uh, the color of our uh, status bar uh, will be black when using a night mode or a dark theme. Also from our themes XML we can change our navigation bar uh, color as well. So let's add here uh, one more item and let's call here navigation bar color. Uh, here in this uh, light uh, version I'm going to also add the same color as uh, we did with our uh, status bar. And let's just uh, copy this item in our uh, in our second uh, themes XML. So here we go, and just uh, change this color to black. Okay, now let's run this app once again. So we are using a dark theme at this point, and uh, both of those uh, system bars have the same color of black. Now let's uh, change this uh, theme to a light theme. Let's go back, and uh, there we go. So now we have successfully changed those uh, colors or those uh, system bar colors to be this uh, purple one when using a light theme and to be a black when using a dark theme. So it's uh, very simple and this was the most uh, popular way of uh, doing uh, or changing those uh, colors in your Android application. However, there is also an alternative way and that alternative way involves uh, one new library which is uh, called Accompanist. So let me just open a web browser so I can show you. So this uh, Accompanist library contains uh, one uh, very useful functionality which is called the system UI controller for a Jetpack Compose. And with this library it's very easy to change your system bar colors from your composable function. Now the only thing that you need to do, you just need to add one simple dependency. So there you go, this is it. And after you add this dependency to your project, then we can just go to our main activity and from this composable function, I'm going to show you how to programmatically change those same colors. Now, the first thing which we are going to do here, we're going to create two different variables. The first variable will be named a system, a UI controller, and here I'm going to call one function that's called the remember system UI controller. So this composable function comes with our uh, accompanist library and it will expose a few functions which will allow us to change the color of our uh, system bars. Now below that I'm going to create uh, one more variable named the dark theme and here I'm going to use uh, one function that's called the is a system in dark theme and this uh, function will basically return true if we are using a dark theme in our Android emulator and it will return false if we are using a light theme. So now below that I'm going to call a side effect and inside the side effect, I'm going to call this uh, system UI controller so I can change those uh, colors. Now, there are three different functions here which we can access. The first one is uh, called uh, set a system bars color, and uh, this function will change the color of uh, both of those uh, components like uh, status bar and navigation bar. However, if you need to change those uh, component uh, colors uh, separately, 
Uh, then you can use uh, those two functions down below, named uh, set uh, status bar color and uh, set navigation bar color. Uh, but in this case, I want to change uh, both of those uh, system bars color, so I'm going to call this a first function. And here I'm going to write uh, a color parameter and say if we are using a dark uh, theme, uh, then in that case the color of our uh, system bars uh, will be, uh, let's say, maybe a light gray. And in else case, I'm going to add here a uh, till 200. Now, uh, when using this uh, system UI controller from a company's library, uh, this uh, function will basically override those uh, color values uh, which we have specified in our themes XML, okay? Okay, so now let's go back and let's run our app. So now uh, we are using our uh, live theme and the color of those two components uh, have changed. So now you can see that we are using this uh, teal uh, 200 color uh, when using a live theme. And let's see uh, what will happen when we change our theme to dark theme. So let's go back now. And uh, now the color of those two uh, will be a light gray. So now you can see that uh, this uh, a company's library actually overridden those uh, values uh, which we have specified in our themes XML, okay? Also, there is one more trick which I want to show you. So, so uh, you don't need to specify this uh, logic for changing those uh, system bar colors in your main activity. Instead, we can move those uh, lines of code inside our uh, theme Kotlin file. So let's open up our UI package and let's open up our theme uh, Kotlin file. And there, in our uh, system bar uh, colors uh, demo theme composable function, we can just uh, paste those codes. And you already know that this uh, composable function is actually called from our main activity. So there you go. And from here we can also remove this uh, dark uh, theme uh, variable because uh, this uh, is system dark theme uh, composable function is uh, already called inside the parameters of this uh, composable function. So now if we run this application once again, everything uh, will be the same as before. Okay, so there you go. Only this time we have moved the logic for uh, changing those uh, system bar colors in our uh, theme Kotlin file. Okay, so now you have learned how to change your uh, system bar colors in Android application. I have uh, shown you two different approaches, by using a uh, themes XML and uh, by using uh, a company's library as well. So uh, thank you for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Comment down below if you want to see more videos about uh, Jetpack Compose in general. Like this video if you find it uh, helpful of course, and uh, see you next one.